What up YouTube and welcome back to another beer review here at Thomas Opened. Uh, not Tomas, Ryan, or Matt. Thomas Opened. Uh, Dutch guy reviewing beer online, yapping into his phone, reviewing beers. When I review in English, which I don't often do, I like to do it as much as I can, I always like to do, uh, I always like to go for the Dutch uh, craft brewers because I always think that that's a lot more fun for, for you guys uh, in uh, the rest of the world. And I figured for this one, we go to a uh, Dutch brewery called Dutch Bargain. It is their Coffee Connoisseur Moi Nitro Edition. Uh, I think this is the second time they brewed it. Uh, this is the Nitro Edition, and there's a, a bit of a story time on it, but um, anyway, just a little bit. Um, it's it's a bigger brother to uh, another beer that it doesn't say, say which one. But anyway, so yeah, it's um, there's Dutch story time on it. Long story short, it has um, twice the amount of cocoa nibs, so there's cocoa nibs in here, uh, coffee beans, and of course the usual barley malts, uh, wheat malts, uh, coffee beans, cocoa beans. Yeah, that's it. It's a bit weird. It says cocoa nibs, but also cocoa beans, so I'm not sure what they mean. Uh, Sumatran coffee, and yeah, that's it. Nitro cold brew coffee. It's all in Dutch. It's a bit vague, I have to admit. But anyway, since it's a nitro edition, we have to sort of shake it around a little bit, do it a little bit like that. And I hope this is enough because I had a few people saying, you know, it didn't really do the nitro thing that it's supposed to do. So we're just gonna, you know, you're not supposed to actually shake it, but just turn it upside down a few times. And let's hope. And then here's the thing, you need to give it a hard pour. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this and we're going to go. And hopefully it'll give us that lovely cascading effect that we want. Now, it's doing it, as you can see. I've seen beers do it better. A few people have complained that the nitro effect wasn't that big in this beer. It, the head is already dissipating pretty quickly, so I'm not sure that the glass is clean, I know that. So I'm pretty sure maybe the nitro in the can didn't go so well. Um, doesn't matter, as long as the beer is still great. Hopefully, well it matters a little bit, doesn't it? Because the nitro is supposed to give it a good mouthfeel. But yeah, we'll just see what happens there. We're just going to give it a little bit of a toss and turn. Um, let's just quickly go through. It's a 13% ABV, 50 IBU, 150 EBC, it's a 33 centiliter can. Well, let's see what she does in the nose. I got a little bit of the sniffles, just the sniffles, just the sniffles. Let's see what she does in the nose. So that's, wow, that's coffee. That is one big of a, that's one of the biggest coffee beers I've had in quite a while, actually. That has all the, the, the coffee, that's like a combination of fresh and ground coffee, but also the coffee, uh, the, 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 the wet coffee, you know what I mean? in the filter, the wet coffee. It's got that earthy green, um, that sort of wet soil thing going on. Uh, you definitely get that, that, that sort of red fruit from the coffee. You get that coffee bean, you get the ground, you get everything, you get the, 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 the husks. You actually get the, the, the smell of the husks from the bean. Not getting a lot of the, there's a for a cough for a beer that has twice as much cocoa nibs as a previous edition, the previous version, smaller brother, younger brother, whatever it said. I have to say the cocoa nibs, you get you get cocoa, you get co you get chocolate, but it's buried under all of that uh, coffee. The first thing that you get is that big hit of um, of coffee, and not by the way a, a, a cup of coffee. This isn't what you would smell when you smell a cup of coffee. This is definitely coffee, as in um, the the ground uh, the ground coffee, freshly ground, and the husks and the wet uh, filter coffee. That that's what we're we're smelling here. There's a certain peppery note to it, like black pepper. It has that sort of same tingle. That's quite interesting. Um, yeah, let's see what she does in terms of flavor, guys. Cheers. Ooh. 
So, as you might expect from a coffee beer, coffee is on point. But in the on the palate, it's much more balanced with the uh, with the chocolate. This is like uh, drinking a well brewed cup of coffee, not too strong. It's not like an intense espresso, or if it would be an espresso, it might be a longe. It has that coffee flavor. Uh, when you drink a cup of coffee, well make coffee, but you have some chocolate in your mouth. You got some good pure chocolate, which you uh, which you you've chewed on a few times, so you get the coffee, the chocolate spread throughout your mouth, and then you take a sip of that coffee. So it does all of that. There's a, it's pretty sweet actually. You would expect it to have a lot more roast and bitterness on the palate than it actually does. It's quite smooth, a bit sweet. It's not as smooth as I would expect from a nitro beer. So again, I'm not sure if the nitro uh, in the can is working so well as it should. I've had beers where it went a lot better. But it doesn't have lactose, right? It doesn't say anything about lactose. So no, this has a lovely soft creamy mouthfeel with a lovely intense coffee and chocolate flavor little bit it it comes across more complex in the nose than it does on the palate it, it almost has like i'm getting the softest hints of something that could be cinnamon or vanilla on the nose and you don't get anything on that on the palate so there's definitely it's a more it's a it's a, it's a more complex beer in terms of the nose that is in the palate i mean that much is clear what i would expect from a beer with coffee there's a lovely little fruity component in the palate on the taste not as explosive as i had with some imperial stouts with some coffee beers but i always feel that there's this sort of berry like almost you know like like hinting towards uh, 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 not strawberry but sort of like that red fruit component again a bit berry like it's nice i can i can i can go on but it's not the most complex beer most complex coffee beer I've ever had, but it is definitely a coffee beer. It is definitely very coffee forward. The cocoa nibs, again, on the palate, shine a lot more than they do in the nose. And I actually have a little bit of the sniffles. Again, just the sniffles. I like it. It's nice. It's a solid... I'm going to have to sit on this one a little bit because... There's a few things that bug me a little bit. A palate that is a little bit less complex than the nose. Eh. Would have loved to have seen a little bit more of the nitro going on. Nah. But it still is such a lovely, drinkable imperial. That's, by the way, it's a dangerous one. Because you would not think that this is 13%. Only now I'm beginning to go a little bit like, ooh, okay. I can feel a little bit of a buzz already going on like, yeah, 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 this is high ABV. Because my body's responding to it. Flavor-wise, palate-wise, you wouldn't think that this is 13% ABV. So it's 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 dangerous when it comes to that. And other than that, you know, yeah, just a great little coffee stout. Uh, if I were to give it a rating somewhere between a four to four point twenty-five, um, something like that, I think, yeah, very enjoyable. Definitely one I'm going to sip on for a little bit. Um, and I realized, uh, by the way, I hope I can still get it. I should probably put one on layaway because. Uh, they just released a, a bourbon barren, a bourbon barrel uh, aged version of this one. It was bourbon bay, uh, bourbon air. Can we try that again? It was bourbon barrel aged. See, I can do that. It's not so difficult. Bourbon barrel aged, bourbon barrel aged, bourbon barrel aged. Uh, for five months, and I believe four roses was it. I'd have to look it up again. But anyway, there's a bourbon barrel aged version of this one right now, and I think that this one would work very well in a bourbon. And that's it for this review. If you liked it, click like. If you really liked it, uh, click uh, subscribe. Leave some comments. Um, in the subscription box below, you'll find links to all of my social media and a link to the Dutch Beer Collective. Go check that out where you can find my best buddies, uh, Remy and Gerben. We all 
a review and you can find all of our reviews and links to all of our social media on that website. So go check that out and I'll see all you guys in another review soon. Cheers.